Joe Biden is speaking right now. Uh, he's talking about health care and responding to uh, the arguments the Supreme Court heard about the Affordable Care Act today. Let's listen. Hundred million people with pre-existing conditions in our country and hurt the millions of Americans who have come to rely on the Affordable Care Act. Getting rid of the Affordable Care Act will take us backward to a time when people could charge a woman more for her health care than they could charge a man simply because she's a woman to a time when pregnancy could be considered a pre-existing condition. It will take away free birth control and contraceptive coverage for women. This is all happening at a moment when our country is suffering through a pandemic that has claimed more than 238,000 lives. And we all know that if the Affordable Care Act is struck down, communities of color would be hit particularly hard Black, Asian, Hispanic, and Native American, because they are at a greater risk of pre existing conditions from asthma to diabetes to lupus. And they are also three times as likely to contract COVID 19 and twice as likely to die as others. Now, I know we all know that we just had an election in America, an election where health care was very much on the ballot. Our country had a clear choice in this election. Each and every vote for Joe Biden was a statement that health care in America should be a right and not a privilege. Each and every vote for Joe Biden was a vote to protect and expand the Affordable Care Act, not to tear it away in the midst of a global pandemic. And Joe Biden won the election decisively with more votes than have ever been cast in American history. It amounts to 75 million voices and counting calling on the Supreme Court to see this case for what it is, a blatant attempt to overturn the will of the people. And the president elect and I cannot let that happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.